Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with my November favorites or my favorites for November maybe we should say and these are things that I have loved during November and I think we just get started and I'm going to start with two skin things. The first thing is my absolute favorite shower gel and this is from Lush and it's the Snow Fairy and this is only available during Christmas. I think they start to sell this in October and they stop selling in it in December I think. I'm not really sure. But this is my favorite smell from Lush. I usually don't like this. This is very, very sweet. Very, very, very sweet. And I usually don't like that, that in the shower gels. But this one I love. And I got this as a gift for my boyfriend. Or I said to him, buy this for me when he was in Stockholm. Uh, Lush has only stores in Stockholm, Gothenburg and Malmö in Sweden I think and he was in Stockholm for a lecture is it even called a lecture? I don't know and I asked him to buy this for me and he bought the biggest bottle and I am so glad I really love this smell and it's glitter in this but it always gets stuck in the bottom for me but this is my favorite thing about Christmas this shower gel so I am so glad that he bought it for me. And then he also bought something for me. I I said to him, can you buy a face mask? And he bought a really good face mask. He bought their cupcake. And this is a fresh face mask with mint chocolate mask for... It says it's for... What is it called? Feti. It's not called fat skin in English. I don't know what that's called and younger skin but they told him that it was good for dry skin and he knows that I have dry skin and this is yeah I mean chocolate mask I can see if I can open it without spilling anything because it's so it looks like this and I really like this it smells chocolate and it's both moisturize and also cleanses and it feels really really good after I take this way the only thing I don't like it's the whole bathroom become like brown when you wash it off it gets everywhere but it's a really good mask and I wouldn't have bought this by myself but he bought it with the help of the woman in the store of course <laughs> I'm really glad that he bought this I really really like this one I can buy this again so that was the skin things so now we're going over to makeup and uh, I don't know if this is more makeup than it used to be. I, I don't really know how many favorites I used to have in this kind of video, so I will just go. I have gotten, I think this may be a new foundation favorite, and I have a video up on this. It came up on Sunday, and it's the Ordinary Serum Foundation, and I have the color 1.0. <laughs> 1.0 NS very firm neutral with silver highlights and I have it on today and it's a teensy 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 tiny bit too dark for me but I don't think you can see it and this I don't need any powder to set this and I really like that because I am dry so this is super good uh, it doesn't cover that much but I don't have so much to cover so it works for me and I really really like this one. When I don't use the serum foundation I have come back to a powder that I have used before and it's Lumiene. It's their... can you see anything? Nordic Chic Translucent Sheer Finish Loose Powder. And I had this a couple of years ago and I was okay with it. But then now I bought it again and I think they have redone it. I don't know. Um, it didn't look like this before. And this is a very good powder. It doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't add any color. And it's a really good powder. So, And I think it's vegan too. So I really, really like this one. And I'm so glad that I bought it again. So yeah. If you have dry skin, try this. It's really, really good. Then my favorite blush this month has been this from Nabla. It's their 
nectarine and I've used it today. I don't know. No, I have not used this today. Or have I? No, I have not. I have used this a lot in November. I really, really love this. I When I bought this, I thought it was going to be my summer blush, but I use it now because I don't really care what you you should use on summer and on winter and autumn and spring and everything like that. So I have used this now and I really, really love this. I think Nabla has great base products. I love their contour, their highlight and their blushes. So this color, it's so nice. And the last face product is, this is one, this is one of the top highlight highlighters I have ever tried. I love this so, so much. It's the Wet n Wild Moon Tears. And Paulina Beauty, she has raved about this so goddamn much. She has like, said that she wanted to buy like 50 yards of this, so she never... Um, never runs out of it. I like it. I love it when I lose my words while I'm talking. And this is the God Graphic Collection and this didn't came to Sweden. But then Beauty Bay took in Wet n Wild and uh, they released this God Graphic after a couple of weeks. And I didn't bought just one, I bought two because I trust Paulina that much and the shoe was right. Oh, so much things in that drawer. And she was right, this is like the best highlighter I know. I, I love this. The only thing I don't love is the... I have stored it... Um, like this, and I saw now I can't do that because it gets everywhere. And this is a loose highlighter and... This is cheap as fudge. I I love it. I hope that Wet n Wild will always have this. I think it will disappear because it is only limited edition collection, I think. But this is such a good highlighter. And then I have two eyeshadow palettes. I have played a lot with my Creepy Cute from Strobe this month. Uh, when I did my own tag, the the bad and boring cat hair. I have used this and I just played around with it and I did some other look. I think I did a get ready with me. I'm not really sure. But it's this palette and this is amazing. I don't know why I just leave it be um, on there. Uh, this is such an amazing palette. I really, 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 really love this one. This is going to be one of my top favorites this year. I'm pretty sure. I have played with this and I... Do you want to free looks one palette with this one? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do... Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. So if you want that, uh, please let me know and I will try to fix it. It feels like I'm going to do free looks one palettes with all the palettes I have. So my channel is going to be free looks one palette because, yeah. <laughs> but I have really lost, I have really rediscovered this and if you don't have this palette and you want to try pastel colors, buy this. It's so freaking good. And the other palette, it's <laughs> the Linda Holberg Deep palette. I know that this has only been available for like one and a half weeks. But I love it. Um, I did a first impression. I can leave it up here. And I also used it today. I didn't film this look because I just sat down, watched YouTube and did my makeup. Uh, it was a long time I did that and I really I really like doing that. Uh, mostly I'm always recording when I do my makeup. So I just wanted to sit down, do my makeup and not care about camera. And this came out and I, I love this. I love this palette. I love the packaging. I love the colors. I, I just love it. I have only used Fornax and Solar today and I think it looks amazing. So this is a big favorite. And the two last products for these favorite videos is two uh, liquid lipsticks and 
One is the one I have on, it's from the body shop, it's the Nairobi Nairobi Camellia I always say Nairobi Only I don't know if that is correct But this, I got this in the body shop uh, calendar I don't know if you can buy it everywhere but in Sweden you can and I got this last year and it took a while before I tried it I have it on today I really 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 love this it's it's mousy and it's really good it's like I think I've said this before it's like NYX matte, soft matte lip cream so it's like a mousse and I really love this one and I really hope I get another one in the calendar so yeah I really really love this and the other favorite, I think you know which lip color it is because I have used it <laughs> a lot in my videos. Maybe I haven't said it is that one, but it is Snobla's Blair. I bought the pulp kit and this was one of the colors and I really love this color. It suits me so good and it goes along with both colorful looks and neutral looks and I really love this one. So these two are my favorites. This from Rabla is a little warmer. Maybe I can swatch them for you. And I really want to do more neutral lips now when I do like crazy eyes. And also I used a lot of crazy lip colors before but it's so hard to maintain. Like if you go out and eat and you have like purple lips not going to look good this is going to look completely okay so this is the just have to see if you can see them this is the nabla so this is a little bit more brown and this is the body shop and it's more pink i really love these two i can really really recommend them they are completely different in the texture and formula but i love them both and now it's turning into like a review video <laughs> that was not my point so that was all of my favorites of november i hope you liked this video in the end of december i am going to do my year year favorite favorites of the year favorites of 2018 i don't know if i'm going to do a december favorites and then a favorites for the whole year i don't know yet i usually don't do that because yeah, I don't know why I don't do that. I will see, but I will do a year favorites in the end of December. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like. And also, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!